That's pretty young. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. I think we were, there was, I saw him on a chat show this week. They were talking about, you're really young, you're really young, you know? It was right around my age. North Carolina FC back in the USL Championship, and they are underway, taking on the Charleston Battery. North Carolina FC in the dark blue kit, in the all-white kit. The Charleston Battery. These two teams, when North Carolina FC debuted as then named Carolina Railhawks in 2007, it was an all out war every time these two teams got together. And you got to figure they'll pick right up. It's great to have this derby renewed by the return to USL Championship. Back four, four. They were excited for it. They were talking about predictions and things like that and all the other USL Championship games that were kicking off today. Just an exciting time for them as a family. And, you know, they've sacrificed a lot uh, for John to get to this level and have the success that he's having. It's not easy for a... Charlotte is dangerous, but the counter is on right now. Louis Perez. Alex Anderson Jr. wanted that a long time ago, and it'll be a yellow card coming to Jake LaCava. The first two or three to sign and straight away you see the highlight video Dean and, and his highlights go on for about 15 minutes I feel that's one season so that's the quality of the man. Armstrong turns out to be a pretty good ball Alex Anderson Jr. Yeah I was talking to him before the game my wife's headed to Sao Paulo tomorrow the NFL is going to play an official game in Sao Paulo in August. I think the Eagles are involved in the game. She's headed there tomorrow to get that one planning. And this one deflected. Shot from distance. Heavily involved in this opening. 30 minutes here. Doesn't quite catch it with the, the ferociousness that we've seen Perez in before. Good luck for the battery. Jake McGuire, we, we barely said his name or Adam Grinwis, the two goalkeepers respectively for North Carolina FC and Charleston Battery. Armstrong loses it. Segmers, pretty good pass. And there's McGuire, still some spillage. Play on, a little bit of a slip, and that's going to lead to a corner kick. Anderson Jr. has got Armstrong making a run. Olex Anderson Jr. drops it through. Flag is down. Turning with it. Back heel. Armstrong. And it got denied before it ever reached Grinwis. Allen back over to Malloy. And Malloy is fouled again. And Somersaw is going to get a yellow card. You know, maybe a Nelson Flores or a Shaft Brewer, just in terms of the amount of work rate those guys are having to get through on opening day. He's like you and Austin Deleuze. Like, if you guys get better looking as you get older, I don't get it. <laughs> Must be all that sleep we're getting with all these kids we're, we're, we're trying to take care of. The... I heard some news today. Um, Nazmi al Badawi just had another baby. Yeah. Lloyd. Flicked! And they'll say off of Charleston Battery and they'll come back to North Carolina City Youth Coaches getting quite a bit of time with U.S. Soccer as well. Throw in here. Armstrong! Oh, good idea! As Armstrong kept that one down on the ground. That's a looping throw from Batista. Somersault's there, it just drops kindly to Ezra off the set piece. It's been the best opportunities, I'd say, for both teams. Just not had that composure or fluency today either side, but still hope yet. Armstrong making a good run. Armstrong, Armstrong tries to drop it in. It's loose. Martin will cut it back. Martin! Now Rafa, Rafa Mensingen. Rafa with the right foot, loops it. Grinwis. It's good play from North Carolina, getting bodies onto that back line. Martin cuts it inside. Just a drop in that bottom corner. Falls to Rafa on the right wing, loops it to the back post. Armstrong and... Washington gets a touch on it. We're seeing Rafa now try to leap forward a little bit more. 
Good hustle from Washington. He's had a pretty good game. Somersault goes flying down. And now a foul called against the Charleston Battery, and I believe a yellow card against Conway, who just came in. A ton of great young coaches. Mike McGinty, Andrew Sheck, Bobby Humphrey. A little touch there, and hard tackle coming in, and it's going to be a yellow card called against North Carolina FC. King Andrew arrived. I, Andrew, back in the early days, 2007, 8, 9, we would do the home games and the away games. I would travel on the road as that shot is right there. It's a little bit too high. This time last year, it was the champion Sormenta that were in the house in League One. And that game finished 1 0. I don't think it was a late heartbreaker, but it was a one goal game that decided it. And Conway, part of several new players in for John Bradford. But with the return to USL Championship, John Bradford's North Carolina FC team with zero. Aaron Malloy's Charleston Battery team with zero.